welcome back now we are on module 8 where we talk about some of the advanced topics about glue and lake formation in the previous topics we covered fundamental about both glue and lake formation in this module we are going to talk about some of the in advanced topics which you can use to build expertise in both of these services now each of these advanced topics are a very serious topic in itself and if i talk about them it will take their own you know uh, time to talk about the features discussed in the topic and also demo around that so what i have done i have created individual tutorials individual videos about these advanced topic and what i'm going to do in rest of the presentation is talk about these topics in a summarized way and provide you a link which you can use to simply do detailed study about the topic so you might use this video to go through a summary of all the advanced topics and then you can simply jump on to uh, the individual topic based on your interest or your requirement so let's get started The first topic I want to talk about is when you are building a glue job you work with various data sources it could be an a relational database it could be a redshift it could be s3 it could be dynamodb and when you are working with data sources there are certain best practices you should keep in mind so what i have done i have created a video and link you can see in the description box below which you can use to learn what are the best practices you can use in glue job when you are working with different data sources so please use this link if you are interested in this particular topic moving on you can create etl pipelines in glue in many ways the three primary way people create is either they create event based pipeline or they uh, create a pipeline using glue uh, uh, workflow or they use step functions for the pipeline and one of the previous module we have already talked about how you can use glue workflow to create the etl pipeline now in this particular topic you can learn how you can create event based etl pipeline using glue job and glue crawler and when you talk about event based pipeline basically you're saying that you're using event based mechanism to orchestrate your glue job and crawlers to run your pipeline end to end so again please use the link in the description box below to get details about this particular topic now another method of using uh, the uh, using the creating the pipeline is using amazon step functions uh, and amazon step functions can be used to orchestrate your glue jobs and your uh, crawlers to create end to end pipeline so i have created a separate video which shows you how to build um glue etl pipeline using amazon step functions so again please click on this link uh, link in the description box below to get to know detail about this particular uh, topic next is your tag based access control so in module 2 you learned about how to uh, how to define access control on your data and the method we discussed at that point of time was more of a reactive method that means uh, some user uh, comes to you and says hey i want to get access to that particular data i want select access on that data and you simply provide uh, that user access to a particular data or table in on the catalog uh, yeah and you simply do that that is called a reactive method in my opinion other approach you can use is you can use a proactive method and the way uh, you work with the proactive method is that you can define various tags and these uh, tags are then associated with an access control that means uh, for example you will have a say tag a and you say uh, tag a uh, is associated with a security and in that security user a and user b will have say select permissions on certain tables yeah you define tag and associated security like that once you have defined this then you create data catalog and once you create data catalog you simply attach your data catalog with a particular tag a particular set of tags in fact you can do both and depending on which tag are associated with your data catalog your data catalog uh, security on your data catalog is automatically defined 
So this is more of a, I will say a proactive method where you're not like um, giving uh, on demand access to your data catalog, but you are simply defining your tags and uh, access control in advance and once catalog, uh, once your catalog is created you simply associate it with a tag and based on the tag association association uh, the access control on your data catalog is automatically defined so if you are again interested about tag based access control please use the link uh, in the description box below to learn about it in more detail you have uh, we have you have learned about classifier uh, in the earlier modules where we said that when you define a crawler crawler uses classifier to actually um, identify the schema of your data and also uh, you know do, do cataloging uh, sometimes your out of box classifier uh, do not work and uh, and you have to and you have to define a custom classifier and you can define custom classifier for xml data for json data for csv data or you can also use grok pattern for defining the classifier which can actually work with almost any kind of format so use this topic use this link to learn how you can define custom classifier in glue and how you can use your customer class custom classifier with your crawler to catalog your uh, complex type of data moving on um, you have created workflows in earlier module now another way to create a uh, work and i'm talking about glue workflow uh, here uh, and glue workflow are used to orchestrate your glue job and crawler um, you one way is that you can like define workflow uh, workflow uh, like uh, by going to the workflow designer and dragging and dropping your glue job and crawler and define sequence between them orchestration between them and you can create the workflow that's one way you can do another way is you can also create a template and then this template can be used to create the workflow and such templates you can create using aws lake formation blueprint now aws lake formation provides some out of box template e either you can use them or you can also create a custom template so you can use the link over here to to learn how you can use uh, how you can use uh, out of box blueprints or templates available in lake formation to create create a um, glue workflow for your etl operations Moving on, uh, when you're trying to handle data and you're trying to do uh, create ETL jobs for your data, um, you can also handle your streaming data. And your streaming data are can come from uh, sources like your IoT devices or say some kind of uh, uh, streaming, uh, some kind of streaming media like uh, social media is, is one example. Uh, so. Uh, glue can also be used to actually uh, do etl on your streaming data and for that purpose glue works with the kinesis data stream and so so data gets ingested to the system using kinesis data stream and then data coming to kinesis data, data stream is then uh, handled by uh, glue job to perform etl on that data and then of course store it to any of the destination you want to store so in this particular uh, topic, uh, you can learn how you can configure AWS uh, Glue job to handle streaming data and do ETL on that and, uh, and save it uh, at the target. So again, you please use the link uh, given in the description below to learn about this particular topic. Recently, uh, AWS announced that Glue job uh, also support transactions. So when you're creating a Glue job, uh, generally you create or delete your objects and then, uh, uh, and, and, and then you also update uh, the metadata uh, uh, of, your, uh, of your catalog. Both of these operations uh, can actually be uh, both of these operations can actually be put under a single transaction. That means when your glue job is running uh, and if it is say uh, updating the data uh, uh, in say S3 bucket and then it's updating the schema, 
both of these operations can work under a single transaction. That means either both of these operations will commit or they both will fail. They will not be a partial operation where uh, data got created but cataloged fail or, or vice versa. Uh, so uh, you can use this topic to learn how you can create a transactional behavior in ETL Glue job uh, and, uh, and, and how you can um, how you can use that transactional behavior uh, to uh, to control um, uh, transaction across your your uh, object creation updates and metadata updates into your data catalog. Finally, I'm going to talk about AWS Glue Data Brew, which is a, a service which can be used by data analyst to actually. Um, do massaging of the data. So when you get the data, generally uh, you want to perform uh, perform different types of transformation of the data, whether those transformation you are doing for data cleansing purposes or data standardization purposes or machine learning purposes, you want to, you want to do some kind of feature encoding on the data. Uh, for that, you can use a service called uh, Glue Data Brew, which is a kind of uh, which is a which is service which can be used by data analysts to perform transformation on the data without writing any single line of code. So that's the beauty of this service that you don't need to write any uh, any code, but you can use some built-in built-in transformations, and there are more than 250 built-in transformation, and that list is ever growing uh, to actually do data transformation and then store that into your S3 bucket. So if you want to learn how you can use Glue Data Brew to use to to do a no code, low code transformation on your data. Uh, you can use the link uh, uh, given in the description box below to learn more about this particular uh, service and topic. So those were some of the uh, those were some of the advanced topic which I wanted to cover in this particular module. Well, there are more topics which we can talk about, and um, I'm and I'm. This is not the end of the course, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to add more advanced module in the coming days or coming weeks uh, as I uh, as I create more tutorials around that. So please keep and watch on this uh, particular uh, playlist where I will keep adding more um, videos for advanced uh, topics uh, about both uh, glue and lake formation. Finally, I uh, hope you like this crash course and if you like this crash course, please click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel and best of luck with your projects, your engagement with both AWS Glue and Lake Formations. Thank you very much.